Stop looking at it as a mistake. Stop looking at it as a failure and start looking at it as an experiment. Welcome back to the Leaders Only Podcast, where we talk about business, leadership mindset, and just pretty much anything revolved around building an incredible life. You know, one of the reasons that I started this podcast is because I felt like on the way to where we're at now, there wasn't really a place to go to learn tangible skills that are needed in order to succeed and further yourself and just get better overall in every area of your life. And so some background about me, you know, I built a sales company that does over eight figures a year. I own over $10 million worth of real estate, and I've built a multiple seven-figure income that's streamlined and in all honesty doesn't really need me. I plan on teaching you and documenting everything that I learned along the way. And if you get something out of today's message, if you can do me a favor, if you can like, share, and subscribe, it will give us the ability to further our message and help more people, which is what we're all about. Thank you guys so much. Let's dive in. And so today, one of the things that I want to go over with you is a simplified process of how to build self-confidence. Because one of the things that I've realized is that there are so many different strategies to build self-confidence and there's all these different ideas out there and they all overcomplicate things. But at the end of the day, going from where you are to where you want to be in a confidence perspective, it's a straight line. It's very simple. It's very easy and it doesn't need to be complicated. And so let me give you an idea of how it works. If you have knowledge, you apply that knowledge and that applied knowledge leads to a result, your confidence goes up. It's that simple. It's that easy. Because our confidence comes from the things that we know how to do right. And so if we have this knowledge, we apply that knowledge, that applied knowledge leads to a result, we then confirm that we know how to do it, which means that we now have confidence in that area. And so if you were lacking confidence in an area, it's because you have not gotten a result in that area just yet. But the only way to build confidence in an area is through taking action. You might be able to gain knowledge through a book. You might be able to gain knowledge through a YouTube video, but you cannot gain confidence through a book and you cannot gain confidence through a video. The only way to gain confidence is to get a result, is to have some success. And so if I can challenge you to do something, it's to stop overthinking it. It's to stop complicating it and just realize if I know something and I want to prove to myself that I'm deserving of the success in that area, I need to go take action and execute with that knowledge. And if I take action and I execute with that knowledge and I get a result, then boom, my self-confidence is going to go through the roof. One thing that I would recommend, though, is don't allow the lack of a result to steal your confidence because that's what most people do. Most people have knowledge. They go execute. Maybe they don't get the result that they want. And now they have doubt. They have discouragement. They have disappointment. And they no longer think that they are capable of succeeding and or winning in that area. But that's not the case. All that experience does is it teaches you what not to do. And in my opinion, learning what doesn't work is actually more valuable than learning what does work. You know, somebody asked me the other day, they said, Matt, how did you improve your leadership skills? There was a couple of ways. Number one, it was watching what I didn't like in other people. I I watched other people lead and I looked at what I didn't like and how they were leading. And it made me want to shift in how I led people. I also learned leadership through my own mistakes, through my own failures, through the things that I did wrong, the things that I said that I shouldn't have said from the actions that I took that I shouldn't have acted upon. And then all of a sudden I gained confidence through my mistakes because what pierces the soul more when you get things right or when you get things wrong, when you get things wrong. But here's the deal. What we can't do is we can't allow those disappointments, those mistakes, those failures to turn into our identity and affect our self-confidence. What we need to do is look at them as a learning experience that now provides us with more wisdom moving forward and tie our confidence to the wisdom, not the mistake itself. You know, if you look at Thomas Edison, all right, Thomas Edison said that he created a thousand ways on how not to create a light bulb before he found the result. He didn't say I failed a thousand times. He didn't say that I made a mistake a thousand times. He said I experimented and I learned a thousand ways on how not to create a light bulb. So I just want you to know that if you make a mistake or if you make a a failure, right, it's just an experiment on how not to do something. Stop looking at it as a mistake. Stop looking at it as a failure and start looking at it as an experiment. You tried. It didn't work. This is the knowledge that you gained from it. This is the data that you gained from it. Take that data. Take that knowledge. Allow it to build into your confidence, not take from it. And then moving forward, you are now taking action knowing what doesn't work, which then should boost your confidence, not steal your confidence. So I just want to challenge you. Simplify the process of building your self-confidence. Develop, read books, listen to audios, but just realize that's not enough. Read the books, listen to the audios, go apply the knowledge that you learn, 
get a result, and that's where your confidence is going to stem from. That's where your confidence is going to get a boost from. So hopefully this helps. I just wanted to simplify the process. I wanted to uncomplicate the process of becoming more confident because confidence is everything when it comes to your ability to influence. Confidence is everything when it comes to to your ability to feel like you can achieve success. And without it, it's going to be nearly impossible to win. So try, try, try. And if you make a mistake, who cares? Just keep moving forward. So guys, if you got something out of today's content, if you can do me a favor, if you can like, share, and subscribe, that would be incredible. Uh, we're trying to put out shorter content that directly helps you that you can go apply right away. And that was the intention of today's podcast. So once again, if you got something out of today, if you can share it with a friend, that would mean the world to us because obviously we put all this content out for free. God bless you guys. And we'll see you guys next week on the Leaders Only Podcast.